Hello everybody, hope you're having a good weekend. In this video, I wanted to talk about taking inspiration from cinematography and, and work with massive budgets and loads of crew and basically the kind of jobs that most of us don't get a chance to work on, but how you can use those projects to take inspiration, analyze what's going on, lighting, lenses, camera movement, all that kind of thing, and then basically put that into your own work and into your own projects. We're gonna be looking at a commercial, which is a commercial for petrol, but this is a commercial that won Best Commercial in the International Motor Film Awards. It's got amazing cinematography. It's a killer commercial. And basically what I did was I took loads of little bits and pieces of this commercial, put it into one of my own projects, which was kind of a no budget test piece, if you like, to see if I could make something that was as good as possible. Let's have a look at the commercial and then let's have a look at kind of what I've took from it and how I've used that in my own work. I think it's a really good way to improve your work. What I'm not interested in on this channel is comparing the A74 to the Nikon Z9 or whatever. Don't care about all that. For me, like, if you want to get good at something, look at work that's amazing and kind of out of your league and then just try and figure out how it was done and, and go out and shoot your own projects. You will learn stuff and you will pick stuff up and it'd be, you'd be quite amazed really, I think, with the results you can get by doing this. So anyway, let's jump in. Let's have a look at this commercial. All right, so I think we can all agree, you know, anyone with sort of decent vision will realize that that's the definition of badass in my view. I absolutely love that commercial. So I basically, like I say, I took elements of that and put it into like an, an advert, which was a, an Adidas spec advert. You'll find it on my channel. I'll stick a link to it below. But let's just have a jump into this big commercial, analyze a few frames in Premiere and see what we can kind of discover from that. So we we'll take this frame here with these guys sat around the car. Yeah, so if we look at this frame here, for example, what do you notice i mean as i've spoke about i think in my previous video you've got shadow this side camera side this guy is pretty much backlit you've got the car the light for the car is coming down behind importantly very important the light from the car is coming down behind these actors so they haven't set the light up on the opposite side of these actors so the actors are lit up and everything's lit up like they set it on the opposite side to the actors shining down and I'd imagine that the light is skirted off so it's just hitting that car and getting some spill onto this guy's face here. That is looking rather tasty. Nice bit of haze going on in the background there. I'm not gonna try and guess what lights these guys are using because I would not have a clue. But let's have a look at another frame. Same deal going on there. Again, inside the car, shadow to camera, highlight off camera. That is a really nice shot. And then there's this bit, uh, yeah, this bit right here. As this guy slams his arms down, the camera do, the follows the movement and gives you that jolt. It's such a simple thing, but I use that in my commercial and I'll show you an example of that in a minute. That just little, that little camera move gives that impact of the guy chucking his t tantrum on the desk there. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, maybe I'm a geek, like maybe I'm like thick or, or whatever, but I, I just see stuff like that and I'm like, yeah, that's tasty. I'm gonna steal that. Uh, so yeah, I did, I nicked that bit. Uh, there's another bit as well where he gets up. That's nice as well, that bit with the skipping rope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this bit right here. So you see this bit when the guy gets up? This bit right here. Camera stays low, follows him up. I stole that exact move uh, in my commercial. I'll show you that in a minute. Yeah. So anyway, let's just quickly jump onto my week 
no budget attempt. Let's have a quick look at that. You'll see that I cheekily even stole the music. I did try and find my own score, but this, this music just worked perfectly with it. So yeah, I stole it. So let's have a look at that. All right, so obviously, you know, my little cheesy ad is nowhere near as good as the Utine Brothers ad, but come on, you know, I got no money. We shot it in one day. I don't think it's too bad, but the point of this video is taking inspiration and taking little things that you see in work that's out of your league and putting it in your own work. Because you'll find that when you do that, your own work just starts to get better because you're, you're really focusing on technique and not the equipment. That's kind of what I'm all about. So you'll see in my version, uh, obviously you probably notice this where he slams down those letters right here. Yeah, just the camera, just following that move. Like I say, it's such a small thing, but I think it makes a huge difference. Like, yeah, it, it kind of worked nice. And then the other bit you'll see is where he gets up. That bit there, this bit. Stolen directly stolen but you know lighting principles the same like that frame there you know I've got the light behind him giving him this nice glow that you can see across his neck there same in the earlier frames that actual light in the background there the light there this light in the background is not lighting anything uh, I've got a light off the right hand side of the frame pumping level over here if you watch my recreation of that frame from Social Network, you'll see it's like 30 pound newer light. Nothing special, you know. In that shot, I just diffused it off and moved the light closer to sort of make it a bit softer. These are the exact same techniques that are used in these big ads, just with way, 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 way cheaper equipment. I love that these shots came out at the end. That frame there, just that bit where he's walking behind those bushes. Don't know why it reminds me of something like off Gladiator or something, because you've got the sun off the right hand side here, setting over in that way, and it just throws everything to backlight and it was quite heavily graded in post, but same with these shots. But yeah, bottom line is, you know, I was very happy with the way that came out. It cost me absolutely nothing to make it, and it was inspired directly by the Utime Brothers ad. The point I'm making is, you know, like I say, you taking that inspiration from work, which is way out of your league, and putting it into your own work where you can, and you learn stuff, you learn so much from it. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully, you know, you got something from it. Uh, it's completely unscripted the way I do these videos. I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about off the time. I just kind of pray it comes together in the edit. Um, so yeah, you know, Saturday night, a bit bored, having a nice, easy weekend. So I thought I'd do this video and um, yeah, hopefully it was some use. And anyway, I'll stop waffling. I'll see you on the next one.